Hi, this is Bart Polson, and in this video, I wanted to show you just uh, very briefly a tool that I used in uh, creating my uh, uh, piece in Max MSP about Sappho's poetry. Um, for the third variation, I wanted to actually create some music myself because I used uh, the the MIDI generated seashore sounds in the first one and the MIDI generated. Uh, pan flutes where it actually just played a descending D minor scale on its own. I actually wanted to get my hands on something and so um, I got out my little plastic flutophone and uh, did some playing with that. It sounds like this if I play my flutophone. I mean it's a recorder and it's supposed to sound like but I like playing it like this. So I used that. But the Just Intonation Toolkit was also a fabulous thing. Uh, this is a standalone application that was developed in Max MSP and just barely released by uh, Tom Mudd. If you go to tommudd.co.uk slash justintonation, and I have a link in the um, on my webpage, artbybart.org, to this. Um, it's a fabulous uh, thing for being able to play just intonations, uh, which are two new systems that are different from the equal temperament that have been common since Bach. Um, and some of them are just really funky, and I want to show a little bit how they work. So I got the toolkit open here, and you know, right now it's giving you just four different sounds to choose from. And you can, I, I got my MIDI keyboard set up, but most of the time you use the actual uh, computer keyboard. And we got a bunch of choices here. This is the Harry Parch four string and if I start by the top here so you see it sounds a little different and then we have uh, the 13 uh, degrees Twelve tone equal temperament. That's the one uh, I believe that we're used to. And but you know the one that I used in this particular piece is actually is a uh, Greek mixolydian scales. And again, there's several of them. It says that they're based on the uh, uh, the tetrachords. Um, and we've got three choices. I actually use the bottom one, the enharmonic tetrachord. You see that all three of them, they start at one for one, These because these are ratios. So they start at one for one here, and they end up at two for one. That's an octave up. And the 16 nine is the same. The 112 to 81 is the same. Uh, the four thirds is the same. The 28, 27 is the same. It's these other ones. And so here's the Mixolydian scale that I used in the piece uh, that I played. Oops. I'll start over. And you can play chords. Uh, you can also lower it. Uh, That's very cool stuff, but things get really crazy when you go, for instance, to uh, uh, Lamonti uh, Young's well-tuned piano. I got her listen to the recording of that uh, from the U of U, but um, and the thing is, Lamonti actually did this with a piano that you know kind of took apart and put back together. It's crazy. My favorite here is a Harry Parch's 43 tone scale because this is a single scale. Um, let's see if I can play it. So that's our octave. 
with uh, 43 notes in between. I I love that stuff. I'm gonna play the middle. Anyhow, um, the Just Intonation Toolkit also provides ways of hooking up with the MIDI, so, you know, there's my little nano keyboard that I got hooked up right now, and you can work it through, it's just, uh, that's more for a later date. Anyhow, that's the Just Intonation Toolkit, a great tool for making some really fascinating music. Thanks.